afternoon everybody so today is a very nerve-wracking doctor's appointment for me and sadly I have to go by myself um Saul has a game and their game is at three o'clock today instead of the normal five five thirty because I guess the school that they're playing they normally play at three so he can't come with me because my doctor's appointment is at 1.45 and he has to drive all the way down pretty much to the border for this game. Um, I asked one of my sisters but she has an appointment and um, one of my best friends works and my other best friend um, has school so I'm just kind of going by myself. So. <laughs> it's fine i don't i don't really mind um i am a little nervous but it's whatever um asha just got picked up by her grandma and grandpa um i really hope this helps her get to know them like spending this time alone with them without me and her dad um because when she's with us she like doesn't really want to go to them so i really want her to get used to them um and just spend more time with her family so um yeah so i have an ultrasound at 145 it's currently 12 53 so i have like some time before i have to actually leave so i'm gonna eat some lunch but last night was super funny i'll insert the clip um so yesterday asha did not nap at all whatsoever and what like six like 30 hit and she started getting really sleepy and i could see it so we made dinner real quick threw her in the bath before dinner and then um because we made noodles i just gave her noodles with some cheese to kind of make a mac and cheese but it wasn't really anything and she was just you know she's tired at this point so she's like falling asleep at the table it's the funniest thing ever i literally cannot control myself so i'll insert the clip right here You want to go lay down? <laughs> so she was asleep by 7.30. And then she woke up around 9. Um, I think she just got scared because no one was with her. Um, so we were supposed to put her in her new bed last night. But because she was already like asleep, we didn't want to mess that up. Because we both really wanted to get some sleep. And we all got really great sleep. Asha slept till 8.30 this morning. Um, I fell asleep with her around like 9.30 because I went in there. Just so I could, um, I think I was just going to go grab my phone because it was charging. And uh, she was crying. But she'd been crying for a while. I just don't know why I didn't hear it. I think the fan and then the TV was just too loud. So I didn't hear her. But um, yeah, so we went to bed early. We woke up at 8.30. And I'm about ready for a nap. But I'm going to eat some lunch. Honestly, I think I'm just going to eat cereal because that's all we have. We, I need to go grocery shopping. And then I'm going to head to my doctor's appointment. So I'll keep you guys updated from, from there and let you know if it's good or bad. All right, so I am back home from the doctor's. So I can update you guys. Um, didn't go how I 
thought it was going to. Um, so I don't really have any results on my placenta. Um, I have to wait for the radiologist um, because the ultrasound tech, she didn't want to fully clear me because they were still, she's still saying some stuff um, that could um, mean like it was still kind of, my placenta was still in the way of the cervix. So um, I have to wait for a call from the doctor. I don't know when I'm going to get that. If I don't get it by tomorrow, um, like lunchtime they said, then I should call them and um, get the results. Um, but yeah, so I wasn't too happy about that. Um, my blood pressure was a little high, but I was really stressed out going into this. So it makes sense. So um, because of that, they wanted to take a urine sample and just make sure it wasn't like preeclampsia or anything. And um, so my urine came back fine. Like I, they cleared that and then my blood pressure did go down because they did retest it. Um, so yeah, but I did have to get the, uh, <coughs> the GBS swab, which is the group B strep, I believe. So that's just where they do um, a vaginal swab to make sure you don't have that bacteria. And if you do have that bacteria, then you have to get antibiotics. Um, I think, I don't know if you have to do it, like I don't know if you get the antibiotics if you're doing a cesarean, but I know if you're having a vaginal delivery, you do. Um, so I don't know about that. But um, yeah, and then I also got my Tdap shot, which it, it hurt, but um, yeah so no real answer of whether or not i have to get a cesarean um the way it's looking though i think i might have to and it really does scare me and i've been trying not to cry about it because i don't have like full results yet so i'm gonna try not to stress out too much about it just because things aren't exactly clear until we get information from the radiologist so that is how my doctor's appointment went it wasn't it wasn't the best um i didn't even really get to see the baby's face like there i have one ultrasound picture but he was blocking his face so we couldn't do a 3d but i do have a scheduled ultrasound for two weeks from today um to check the placenta again um to see if it moves and if I even make it that far <laughs> um but if they said if I don't make it to the next ultrasound um I might have to get a cesarean if I go into labor so that's that um Asha is still with her grandma and grandpa they're gonna take her to go watch um my one of my brothers play football um he's starting tonight so they're gonna go and watch him I'm home alone um i think i might try and pick up a little bit and um get some rest um i'm tired i'm kind of emotional um so i'm gonna take advantage of it this quiet time to my ability so yeah i think i'm gonna go take a nap so yep just wanted to update you guys on what happened and yeah that's everything Good afternoon vlog people. So I didn't update you. Oh, hope you can't hear Saul peeing, but um, didn't update you guys. TV, you wanna watch a movie. Um, didn't update you guys on the most recent baby news. So I actually am gonna have to get a C-section. We have it scheduled um, for what how many four weeks from today actually so just a week before my due date or not even a week like a couple days before my due date um if i make it to my due date so we do unfortunately have to do it my placenta literally needed to move 1.3 centimeters and it it didn't so we do have that other ultrasound in like two weeks to check what oh to check and see if it has moved and if it does in two weeks then we can cancel the c-section altogether but I don't. 
Yeah, the dog, Duchess. What's the dog's name? Can you say Duchess? <laughs> but today has been a good day so far. We got out of the house because we had our housekeeper come at 11 and um, we went and got some good stuff. We went and got some donuts. Yum. It's from a donut place called The Goods. Sorry about the lighting, but what? And then we went and looked at some cars and I think we're gonna go ahead and seal the deal and trade in my Audi for a new car. So that is what we are doing. We have to clean out the Audi. We just had lunch. I am feeling very large and in charge today. What are you doing? What are you saying? Duchess already got her food today. You want to feed her more? Duchess. Duchess. Oh, you want to feed Duchess? Go ahead. guys might be the last ride in the Audi before oh, I get a new car I mean as sad as it is and as much as it pains me to get rid of this amazing vehicle it's you know I just gotta think about my family so last ride in the Audi All right, guys, so we did not end up getting First of all, the car. The goods, donut, not very good. Yes, it's it so, is. It's like the weirdest taste in my mouth right he's, now. It's so gross. I think it's just because he's mad, and so he has like a bad taste in his mouth right now. That's true. But. Now I don't want to even go shopping for jeans. I want to go jeans shopping after this, but I'm so bad. <sighs> anyway. So basically, we were in the dealership for almost two hours trying to do all the paperwork. And um, so we, the last thing we were waiting on was like credit and what they would give us for a loan and what would be approved for. And it was the most ridiculous thing. Like I have bought in, I've bought, <laughs> I've bought a few cars. Not so, a few, not a lot. Not a lot. Okay. Not okay. A lot. I bought a Jeep, Kia. the Civic, the Kia, the Audi. So, okay, five cars <laughs> since I've been 18. That's kind of bad, actually. Yeah. But I mean, it's just, just like a father. Yeah. <laughs> I am my father's child. <laughs> but, um, so anyway, so they were, we weren't going to put any money down. We were trading in the Audi. Basically, we had a negative equity. I think it was like, five grand like or, or like like, like, five, like five thousand. pretty much five thousand dollars was our negative equity which was fine because it would just be added to the price of the car which we were okay with um so yeah so there was that and then what they gave us back our numbers and it just didn't make any sense they wanted us we weren't going to put any money down um but if we had to we were just going to put like a thousand dollars down which is normally what I like to do just you know it's just a thousand dollars it's something to if the like loan people need it and um but they came back with the numbers and they wanted us to put nine thousand five hundred down and it would have been like a 72 month financing at an 11 percent APR no it, it was like an 11.9 percent APR and it would have been like $900 a month. And I was just like, no. I was like, I am not putting down close to 10 grand when I've told, like, I, there, there's just no way. So, so And it was pissed. like the car after, before taxes, which something what we would have paid for was only $54,000. Yeah. And so like the Escalades that we we're looking at, which were like 100 grand, was like, we we're just looking, like just I would understand like, I would, yeah, I'd put $9,500 down like maybe for like a $100,000 car. car, but 
for this 50, car was 000. like fifty thousand, fifty five thousand dollars, and they like that was ballpark around like what the escape es the escape was. Yeah. And they were like, oh no, you guys are fine, zero APR, like we got you guys, it's, it's good. Yeah. I think we did 60 months. Yeah, we got like such we did a good like deal. we got a good deal on them. And then for some reason, like this used, like it was still, it's a it used was, 2016. It's it's very very nice. It's still really nice, and it, like for being a 2016, it was like taken well care of, and was just like. I don't know. I don't understand anything. Or they were just trying to be like, oh, here, like these guys are young. I, or, just trying to like rip us off. Yeah, like, we don't really know because we've been through this process a few times, and that's, that's like the worst, the worst ever we've seen. ever experienced. That one, loan wise. That, that beats freaking BMW. Remember that one? Oh my God. Well, I was I wasn't yeah, trying to we buy. We weren't BMW, trying to buy a BMW, but a but... friend was trying to buy a BMW, and we ended up just walking away because it was just ridiculous. It was like, but, well, what price do you want to give? Well, I, I like this price. And then they'd call and they'd be like, oh, can you do this? I was like, no, we said this. And then right when we got into the car, they're like, oh, hey, we just got off the phone. We can give you that price a month. And it's just like after three hours. But this is like the worst one. It was just really ridiculous. I'm I'm upset about it, but oh, oh, just because it, it's such a nice car and there were so many other people looking at it. Yeah. And um, it's like if it it's just not gonna be there. So if it makes it makes it to Tuesday, I doubt it. We will, have a to be chance because we can, you know. Because there was there was the people bank. trying to look at it and test drive it while we were going through the process of trying to contract it and all that stuff. So, so I think for now we're just gonna hold off on the vehicle purchasing um, as much as we'll I probably do it whenever baby's born. I mean, as much as I would like to get it before he's born, it's just not going to happen. And I don't want to deal with all that stress. So we're going to put it on hold and hopefully something better comes around. And um, maybe just go to a totally different go place. Like, probably probably have to go to like Escondido. Temecula or Escondido something. or Temecula. Like somewhere I mean, well, else. I'm probably going to look today or just like when... I mean, I, Ashley's sleeping, so we don't got really much to do. I'm I'm a little bummed about it because I actually like liked it, and yeah. I even like got up the courage to drive it, which I've never really test driven the cars I, before. I Saul always does it for me because I just get nervous driving in front of other people. So, I, it like it was just so nice, and then it had the two bucket seats the captain seats whatever you call it it even had the dvd players it just like came standard with it it had the trunk space we wanted like it was Everything it was, was nice and it was a good price yeah, and if price i wasn't wanted. paying for a brand new like car like it was like a pre-owned very good condition so i was happy with it but now i'm just like it's whatever I'll keep my Audi a little bit longer. I to drive my car more. They gave us a really good number and then we pile up the miles. Yeah. It's, it's gonna go get worse. Yeah. But I mean then again, like your payment's gonna come out soon anyway, so yeah. well, maybe. Well, maybe. Maybe that's a good thing. Because then it'll be lower. Because then it'll be just a little bit lower <laughs> and then it'll be a little bit less to be piled on top. Yeah. But, but yeah, so that's unfortunate, but it's it's okay we'll just have to get the audi ready for the baby instead of you can't win a mall champ no so Ugh. just wanted to update you what guys on our that? failed car shopping experience Some nonsense today